Hugo said that you wanted to be careful not to do any uh, movie cliches when when you had um, been wa when they had been watching some movies from like the '60s, some film noir. Do you remember any of those cliches? What you might have said well, not to do? I I don't know. I, I, I'm a huge kind of film noir genre kind of buff, so I sort of almost sometimes like some of those moments and things. And, and so it's that it's that balance of of. What, what was really important, I think that's what the actors brought to it, was, was a sort of truth. And I think it's, that's what I'm proudest of in the movie, is the performances. I think it's, it's like, how to avoid false beats. And I think that's the one thing that I enjoyed the most, is, is, is watching. And, and when you work with brilliant actors, it's much easier. And it was, if, if, if those false beats, if you don't believe it, and for example with Kirsten, she's, she's, she, if, if a line has got exposition, or there's something kind of false and written about it. She finds it very hard to do, and I think, because it's almost like she has a truth radar, and then if it's written sort of where it feels real and it captures something, then she just does it, it's extraordinary, and it sort of feels like she is that character rather than playing that character. And same with all three actors, and and, and that was what, for me, the cliche thing, is if, if I have to believe it, if, you know, I have to feel that someone really is saying that. And that's going back to things like, I don't believe people, I, I find writing the moment something's too written, I kind of try to cross it out because I just feel people don't talk like that and they don't behave like that. It's a different kind of filmmaking.